The exchange between J.D. Vance and Donald Trump stands as a powerful testament to the enduring spirit and tenacity of the MAGA movement. It highlights the crucial roles of authenticity, bravery, and unity when facing adversity. But uh, two great men were very badly hurt. I've gotten to know them, and two, and one, Corey, was, uh, as you know, killed. And uh, you could have had, you could have had a lot more than that if he didn't. But so they took him out. So now we're getting up. I said, I'm not, I'm not lying on the stretch. I'm not going to do that. So I forced my way up. And uh, once I was up, I realized, because I looked, everybody was stunned. You know, we had thousands and thousands of people, uh, a good group in the back, but they were great. You know, that was just like a backdrop. And nobody stampeded. Nobody ran. You know, usually when they hear a shot, if you go to any people that do this for a living, it's called crowds. And they said, when a bullet goes off, everybody starts running for the exits. Nobody ran, including the thousands. I mean, tens of thousands of people were in front mm -hmm. and nobody ran and nobody ran in back. The back was like a sample of it. And you had one man and the man dressed in black. I mean, they were all becoming famous people with a black hat. And he's, he's looking like, is he standing up? Where are they? And he starts pointing. This man had no fear and none of them did. And the women were incredible. Some went down, they, you know, for a little cover, but nobody ran. And everyone that went down came up. Yeah. And they thought I was in trouble. They And they were right. But they thought I was in trouble because they saw the blood immediately because it was over here. And so these, the media always slanders these crowds as, you know, MAGA extremists. And of course, they slander the president, too. And it really is, I think, a testament to the movement, how calmly people responded to it. That's definitely the thing yeah. I took away most from it. Yeah, that was amazing. But it was love, too. It, was, it just, absolutely. They didn't, they didn't move. But when I came up, they saw me come up, and they thought it was over. They thought it was over when I went down because they saw the blood immediately. And then when I put the hand up, everybody was happy. That was the time. That was when they realized uh, I was okay. And it's just an incredible country. Uh, it was a beautiful moment. J.D. Vance's comments on the crowd's reaction during the attempted assassination of Donald Trump showcase the unwavering resilience and solidarity of the MAGA supporters. Their composed and steady demeanor amidst chaos underscored their dedication to Donald Trump and his vision for America. This calm, poised reaction was a stark contrast to the media's portrayal of them as extremists, revealing their true character in moments of crisis. In debates, both J.D. Vance and Donald Trump emphasized themes of authenticity, personal responsibility, and human response to crises. When faced with threats, the individuals in the crowd remained unshaken, embodying values of authenticity and courage. Their response was a collective assertion of their beliefs, reflecting the core ideals of the movement. The dialogues between J.D. Vance and Donald Trump aimed to foster pride and solidarity among their supporters. Stories of calm and courage in the face of danger not only enhance the movement's positive self-image, but also counteract negative media portrayals. These narratives strengthen the bond between Donald Trump and his supporters, painting him as a resilient leader who inspires loyalty and bravery. The public's reaction to these remarks is predictably divided along partisan lines. Donald Trump and MAGA supporters feel a sense of pride seeing their calm response to crises as a reflection of their strength and unity.